implementing tcs on receipts sale in busy in this presentation we'll discuss about implementing tcs in busy tcs is tax collected at source tcs is the tax payable by a seller which he collects from the buyer at the time of sale as per the new rules applicable from 1st october 2020 a seller selling any commodity to a party is required to collect tcs based on certain conditions If the condition for collecting TCS is fulfilled then you need to apply TCS in the voucher. One thing to note here is that uh, in busy TCS is pan based. That is if there are multiple parties for a single pan then collective gross receipts or net sales will be treated for applying TCS. Let us suppose a company has multiple branches and all the branches have same pan number then gross receipts and net sales will be collectively calculated for all these branches having the same pan and then busy will show a message that uh, condition for applying tcs is fulfilled or not and accordingly you have to ap apply tcs bill sundry in the voucher to implement tcs in busy you need to follow the five steps step 1 is enable and configure tcs feature step 2 configure masters step 3 enter sale receipt transaction and apply tcs In busy you can apply TCS either in sales voucher or receipt vouchers it is recommended that you follow a particular method that is if you opt to apply TCS in sales voucher then you must apply TCS in sales voucher and try to avoid applying TCS in receipt transactions vice versa also if you decide to apply TCS in the receipt vouchers then you should always apply TCS in receipt vouchers and avoid applying TCS in sales voucher Step four is enter payment or journal voucher for TCS payment, or in case there is a TCS reversal, then you can enter a journal voucher for same also. Step five is view print reports. In the report sections also, a report is provided receipts eligible for TCS using which you can post a TCS voucher also. So we will discuss all these steps in detail, starting with step one, enable and configure TCS feature. To enable TCS feature click administration configuration features options TDS TCS tab enable the option of enable TCS reporting specify TDS TCS details like TAN number TDS TCS circle pairs category then the company's address for ETDS TCS after that there are two options given warning for TCS in sale and warning for TCS in receipts This implies that if the condition for applying TCS in sale or receipt voucher is fulfilled and you have not applied TCS bill sundry or TCS in the voucher then what action this should take that is it will show you a warning message that you have not applied TCS bill sundry or TCS in the voucher or it will not allow to save the voucher without applying TCS or simply no action which means no warning will be shown and user can simply save the voucher without adding the TCS Then is skip TCS reference creation. Specify yes in this option if you do not want to create TCS references and want to maintain ledger only. Then is amount rounding of options. Click this button to specify the rounding of options. Here we are taking the rounding of option as automatic and we are applying it for both TCS amount and surcharge amount. Then is responsible persons detail. Click this button to enter details of the person responsible for handling and submission of TCS software company. Now click save button to save the configuration. Now we'll go to our step 2 that is configuring masters. In under configuring master option we'll discuss the account master and the bill sundry master starting with the account master. We're going to masters account modify option and opening the TCS account. Here you can see TCS account is already created with its group duties and taxes with tax type as TCS. This account is already created and you can use it as it is. Then you need to create a bill sundry master. We're going to bill sundry add option, specifying the name of the bill sundry. Bill sundry type is additive. Bill sundry nature TCS. You need to select the bill sundry nature as TCS. And then in the accounting and sale and accounting and purchase options, you need to specify no in the adjust in sale amount option. And you need to specify the account head to post as TCS, both for sale and purchase. This bill sundry will be calculated on 100% of the net bill amount and afterwards you need to specify the bill sundry amount rounding of options that is here again we are at rounding of bill sundry amount 
automatically and uh, near to one so the same configuration of rounding off we have specified in the features option tds tcs tab click save button to save the voucher the next step is step three enter sale receipt voucher and apply tcs as we have discussed earlier also you can apply tcs and sale vouchers and receipt vouchers also but it is recommended that you follow a single approach that is either apply tcs in sales voucher or in receipt voucher here we'll discuss both these options. First, we'll start with adding a sales voucher and applying TCS to it. We're going to transaction sales add option, specify header related details for the voucher. We are selecting the party as AB Traders Daily. This means this is a daily branch of AB Traders. Now we are opening this party in modify mode. Here you can see the PAN number is specified. This is important as there are different tax rates when the company's PAN is specified and when the company's PAN is not specified. Now coming back to the voucher, you can see the current balance, net sales, gross receipts of the party. For your reference purpose, based on this, you can decide whether TCS will sundry is to be applied in this voucher or not. We are selecting the item, specifying item related details. We have applied the GST bill sundries and we are saving the voucher. On saving the voucher, no message, no warning is appearing for applying TCS as the condition for applying TCS is not yet filled. Really, uh, the net sale or gross receipt is more than 50 lakh rupees. We need to apply the TCS bill sundry, but in this voucher, showing the party's net sales and gross receipt less than 50 lakh. So that's why no message has appeared. Now we are entering one more sales voucher. Here we are selecting the party as AB Traders Maharashtra. Means this is the Maharashtra branch of AB Traders party. We are opening the party in modify mode and you can see the PAN number for the party is specified and this is the same PAN number as specified for the Delhi branch. Both the parties have the same PAN number. Coming back to the voucher, you can see the net sales and the gross receipts of the party. We are specifying item related details. We are applying the IGST bill sundry and clicking the save button. When clicking the save button, this is showing the message that net sales or cross receipt of the party is greater than 50 lakh rupees and you have not yet charged the TCS bill sundry in the voucher. If you want to apply the TCS bill sundry, we'll click the yes button and you can see TCS bill sundry is automatically applied in the voucher. TCS bill sundry is applied at the rate of 0.075% as the PAN number for the party is specified. If the PAN number for the party has not been specified, then this rate would be 1%. Next, you can see on the screen a TCS deals window is appearing in which we have specified TCS applicable as yes, specified TCS section, collection code. In case of sale of goods, you can use collection code as R and for scrap, you can use the collection code as E. Then we are creating reference for this transaction. If you have specified yes in the skip TCS reference creation option that appears in the features option, then this window would not have appeared in the voucher and you would not be able to create any reference for the transaction. Click OK button to save the transaction. Next, we are entering a receipt voucher. We are going to receipt add option. We are selecting the GST nature is not applicable. Here we are crediting the AB traders daily party and we are debiting the bank account. On saving the voucher, Vizzy has shown the message that net sale or gross receipt for this particular pan with party has exceeded 50 lakh rupees and you have not applied TCS in the voucher. So here we are clicking the yes button and you can see TCS is applied in the voucher. Again, TCS details window is appearing where we will create a reference for this particular transaction also. Click OK button to save the transaction. Next is our step 4. Enter journal payment voucher for TCS payment or journal voucher for TCS reversal. So we'll discuss both the cases that is TCS reversal and TCS payment starting with the TCS reversal. To enter an entry for TCS reversal, we will be using journal voucher. We are going to journal add option, GST nature not applicable. We are debiting the sales, CGST output, SGST output and TCS account and we are crediting AB Traders Maharashtra account. We are assuming that this is a TCS reversal against the sale we have made to the AB Traders Maharashtra part. On saving the voucher, a TCS reversal window is appearing in which you can select the reference number against which this transaction or this reversal entry is to be adjusted. Next, we are discussing about the TCS payment made to the government. 
We can enter this type of entry either through payment voucher or through general voucher. We are using the general voucher here. Here also GST nature not applicable. We are debiting the TCS account and crediting the bank account. On saving the voucher, an adjust TCS references window is appearing in which we'll select the reference against which we are making the payment. Then we'll specify the payment related details that is payment for the quarter, interest, penalty, date of tax deposited, Chalan number, check number, dated that is the check date, then bank where tax deposited. This bank can be same as you have selected in the voucher or can be a different bank also that is the authorized bank for the TCS collection. And one thing to note here is that the bank you will select here in the account master that is bank account master in the LIS field you can specify the BSR code for the bank. So BSR code of the bank is picked from the LIS field. Now we'll go to our step five, that is view print TCS report. In the display TCS report section, you can see various reports are appearing. We will discuss the receipts eligible for TCS report. On selecting the report, you can specify the starting date, ending date. And then on the screen, you can see the entries. That is, the, it is showing various entries that we have entered. It is the sales transaction we have entered, receipt transactions. Here on pressing the F4 key, you can post a TCS voucher for the eligible entries. On pressing the F4 key, a select option window will appear with two options, all pans or selected pan. First, we'll discuss the selected pan option. This means that you want to enter general voucher for TCS for selected pan. That is uh, the entry which is selected, the TCS voucher will be posted for it. One condition here is that if the entry you have selected is of multiple parties uh, having single pan, then we will show a message that voucher could not be posted and you need to post the journal voucher manually. In case of all pans option, we will post journal voucher for all the eligible entries, which means it will skip posting of journal voucher for the multiple parties having single pan. Again, for those parties, you need to enter the voucher manually. On selecting any of the option, a TCS voucher creation window is appearing where you will select voucher series, voucher date, TCS account and it's showing narration also. You can change this narration if you want. And on the screen, you can see this is showing a message that journal voucher is posted successfully. Now, if we view the list of the journal voucher, then you can see Busy has posted the journal voucher for Sharma Fabricators Company. We are opening this voucher in modify mode and you can see on the screen journal voucher is posted for the TCS. So this is all we have to discuss in this presentation. Basically, in this presentation, we have discussed the complete process of implementing TCS in Busy, starting from enabling and configuring TCS, configuring masters, then entering sale receipt transactions and applying TCS. Then we have discussed the entry for TCS reversal and TCS payment. And then finally, we have discussed the reporting section with the receipt eligible for TCS report using which you can also post a journal voucher for applying TCS. Hope after going through this presentation, you would be able to easily implement DCS in Busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.